So here we go. This is so far I've got on it at the minute. I've now got the BB out and it's all ready to go in. I've drilled all the holes in the back tree underneath. Two holes for the mud guard. That's, a, that's gonna be a like a support bracket there. Stop the BB dropping as well. And this big hole is for the wiring. And the wiring will come out there. So there'll be no wiring in the frame. All you'll see is the battery here, and the motor there. And all the wiring will stay at the top of the framework. I've now got forks and I'll show you how to do to insert the star nut. I'm gonna cut my forks to that height so they fit in there. So I've got a little bit to cut off. But yeah, so it should be all good. Let's have a look. So here's the forks and <coughs> get yourself a good pipe cutter it's the best way you could do it with a hacksaw i always used to do it with a hacksaw but uh ever since using a pipe cutter i use a pipe cutter just find it much easier but yeah get yourself a bit of kit i bought this this piece of kit here star nuts in there ready to go in it's a simple piece of kit to use basically you just screw your star nut on that you want to work down into the fork then put it up in there like so just like that give it a little push so it's level like that as you push down on that i'll show you the best way is i'll actually show you how, how to do it it's easy now i think i did a video on this before because i like to put lights on my bike proper in the center so i always fire one up under up underneath as well so i use this screw or this bolt rather to do that with that way it's all done anyway I'll sort this camera out and uh yeah we'll go on and get it all sorted so pretty straightforward i've already marked it where i need it cut and basically put your pipe cutters on and start turning away And as you turn, you just give it a little turn like that. Makes it a bit harder. Try and start the forks, forks moving. But you can see it's going to take quite a while. Like this, this uh, alley on this fork is uh, quite tough. Some quite thick stuff. So the less the forks move, the better. Normally I would put them in the vise and do it. It's getting tighter now. You can feel it getting tighter because because it's such thick, thick aluminium tube. The actual cutting blade can't get right down in there. There you can see it. See how it's cutting down into there? Cutting down in there quite well. So it'll be a nice clean cut. Another turn.
change your hands. You see it's nearly through. I can tell because you can actually feel it on the cutter. So he feels like he's starting to get there a bit now. As I say, if you get the forks held solid, it's much easier. Go the other way for a bit. Hang for a minute. My phone's ringing. Well, there she goes. So there you go. You see, you get a nice clean cut with it. <clears throat> anyway, so now all I got to do is I need this one up in underneath. But what I'll do is see how far it will go down. And I think I could probably put one in straight away and knock it on down with the screw as far as I can. So I've got one preloaded, which you just put that over there like that. This piece. Well, hang on a minute. I'm going to just need to go and file the edge where it's spread it out a little bit. I'll do that in a sec, I'll just get a file. It's just to take that burr off. Should do it. Let's see, because this should just slot straight over. Yeah, there you go. Now, let's see how it's pushed this bolt out. I'll put it at that angle so you can see. Let's push that out. 
Now I'll just get my lump hammer. And uh, I know I'm on a wood floor, but just to make sure, because it's going to take a fair old bit of a whack. And that's it, that's on there. That'll pull off. You screw him out. And basically, I'll have to do that again in a sec. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this bolt on and I'm going to knock him down a fair old ways more. So then I've got an actual light holder or mudguard holder, whatever you want to do, going up that way. There you go, that's in there. And it doesn't really matter about being dead straight. Get that bolt back out. There it comes. Now, I don't know where you can see down in there, but basically, that's the one for holding my light system up or a mud guard. So now what I'm going to do is set the thing up again. Looks, looks so, exactly the same as I showed you before. So he's flush that way. Put him on like that. Him. and that's it lift him off oh he's tight some of them do that some of them get really tight and i can't grip it with my bare hands so i'll just use a pair of pliers shouldn't use much force hopefully ah, there you go that's it. And that's it. So it puts it in the correct place. Now it's ready to be actually mounted on the bike. But I'm still waiting for my front wheel hub to turn up. So I won't put it on for a bit. But I'll show you when I go to put it on. Show you how it's all done. Simple enough job. But yeah, basically that's it. Anyway. Stay safe out there and get out and ride. And make sure you subscribe and tip like. See you again.